Uh, no, just uh, where were you when you heard about the trade? Actually, I was on the golf course. I, <laughs> just pretty funny enough, I actually missed the missed the first call, and then I, I kind of went on my phone. And I saw the saw the call, called them back, and uh, kind of got the news there. So yeah, pretty pretty funny way to get the news. But yeah, what's your reaction to it? Um, I mean, at first I was like, I was a little like, it just kind of took me by surprise a bit. And then, you know, once it kind of set in, I was just, you know, very excited to kind of come down here and, um, you know, get to start with a new organization and um, just kind of show them what I got. Were you able to finish that round of golf at least? Yeah, I finished that round. I actually, <laughs> I actually played pretty decent, to be honest. So <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it. Do you know, obviously you're coming in with, with Yaroslav, and, and do you know of anybody else that was within the Sharks organization when you came in? Or? Yeah, so actually um, the new head um, athletic therapist for the Barracudas now, um, Gus, um, he, he's here now too, he just signed, so that was, that was awesome. And then um, I trained in with Matt Nickel there in Toronto, so um, uh, Cardwell, Thompson, Coe, and Gurria, they all trained there, so I got, got, got to know them a bit throughout the summer, so definitely made the transition a lot easier, yeah. For yourself, trying to break into that full-time AHL role, just being around those guys who were on the Barracuda last year, what do you take away from your conversations with guys like that? Yeah, you know, they just said that it's, you know, they had a great time last year. And, um, they learned a lot and a great, great staff and kind of everything there. So um, they just kind of said, come in here, work hard and, you know, earn your spot. And then, you know, they'll love it here. Obviously, you know, Ars Yaroslav was kind of the, the headline in that deal. But what, who are you as a player? And, you know, there's been a lot of unknown, a lot of focus on him. But you're involved in that trade. What is your player style? Yeah, so basically, I think I'm a good two way forward um, net front guy. You know, I think if you look at my time back in Sarnia, I scored a lot of my goals and stuff kind of in the front of the net. I like to, you know, I like to get to the areas that a lot of guys don't want to be in. That's how you know I got my first contract there. Um, you know, I um, unfortunately had a couple surgeries before last year, so last year was you know a bit tough. But I'm um, feeling a lot better now, and just kind of excited to show what I have. Can you say what the surgeries? Uh, it's just like uh, sports hernia and then an adductor one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was a frustrating. Yeah, maybe it was it was super obviously super tough going into my first year pro hurt, but I think also honestly it you know taught me a lot and kind of got me a lot mentally stronger and um, yeah. What are you hoping to show on the ice this year that you couldn't last year because of the maybe the injuries? Yeah, I think I think a lot of it my like my power and acceleration just you know that whole area was kind of tough last year. I think you know this this summer I'm um, just kind of helped me get my explosiveness back. So definitely we'll try to show a lot of that. Try to show some speed there, and then. Yeah, you know, just kind of, I think, just kind of being more consistent throughout the game with my body, you know, just kind of, you know, it's, you know, you know, it wears off pretty quickly last year, just kind of not having a lot of time there and it's had a good summer. So just kind of, kind of those two things are probably the biggest. Do you know Yaroslav well? Yeah, yeah, I was up in Milwaukee a lot there, especially towards the end of the year and then at the start and everything. So I got to know him pretty well. I actually had a good conversation with him this morning and oh, yeah. kind of, yeah, kind of talked about everything and yeah, no, it's good. How would you describe his personality? He's awesome, honestly. Like, yeah, I know he's got that bit of flair to him, which is which I love. And um, yeah, no, he's an awesome guy off the ice. Like, uh, couldn't say any nicer things about him. He's got that neck tattoo. Like, yeah, he does. Something, yeah. something you're used to. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How would you describe him as like goalie? Like, what, what you know, he's listed as one of the top prospects in the American League. I mean, how would you describe his goalie? Yeah, you know, I think even I did a lot of when I was kind of heard up there last year I did a lot of goalie shooting on him so I kind of got to know his style well and you know he's just a very sound goalie and you know he has he has that ability to make those crazy saves that a lot of goalies don't have and I think that's kind of why he's been rated so high and um, yeah no I'm just gonna I'm just excited to kind of keep watching him and you know keep um, keep getting to know him. Now for yourself do you kind of relish that role of you know maybe being a little bit of an underdog prospect is that something that that drives you yeah you think i know that's kind of been the thing my whole life you know i wasn't very it wasn't a highly highly rated prospect going into ohl you know made a successful you know kind of career there um you know kind of signed as a free agent um and then yeah you know it's just it's been tough and then um you know this year is kind of that year where i need to kind of prove myself so i'm just you know excited to kind of give it all i can and just keep that yeah like you said keep that underdog mentality and just um use that as fuel and just keep working hard. What are you working on most this off season that you feel like is going to benefit you most at this camp? You know, yeah, so, games here today? so obviously a lot like a lot of the off season I had to keep kind of doing that rehab from those surgeries. Um, so I just did, did a lot of like really get, getting my core to the strongest I think it's ever been. Um, keep working on, you know, the adductor area, all that, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then kind of building off that as well, mixing, getting, lifting heavier weights again. Um, you know, being able to kind of run and shift and do acceleration stuff again, jump, all that stuff. So kind of, I think just kind of building, building all that stuff to the, to the point where it's one of my strengths now, not my weaknesses. And, um, you know, just kind of doing, you know, the typical hockey offseason program, just kind of getting faster, stronger, powerful, all that stuff. So, yeah.
Do you feel like there's a path to success here in the Sharks organization for you that maybe not necessarily wasn't felt in, in the national, but just here's like a fresh start, like a new opportunity to open some more eyes? Exactly. You know, um, you know, I, I honestly didn't really ever get to show myself off a lot to you know them. Um, just you know, I went to went to dev camp hurt, um, main camp hurt, season was hurt, and then last dev camp was kind of the first time I got to. And you know, they obviously they've had a, they have a lot of you know they have a lot of young guys coming up and all that, and they had a big splash of free agency. So yeah, I think. I think honestly, yeah, it'll be um, hopefully a better path here, and you know that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited. And yeah, I assume this is the first time you've seen Macklin Celebrini play live. Just what's your impression of him? Yeah, you know, it's first time, and yeah, no, he's he looks great out there. Um, obviously, care a lot about him, see his tape and stuff on TV and everything, and you know, to actually see him live, it was it was um, it was cool, and um, yeah, he's also really 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 nice guy. So that's that's awesome as well. Awesome, thanks, Nolan. Awesome, thanks, thanks guys. Appreciate nice it. Thank you. Good to meet you guys.